Hey, I'm John with Off Grid Net Mobile Solar, and today we have something a little different. It's product review time. So today I'm going to do a product review on the Arctic Air Pure Chill Deluxe Air Conditioner. Um, supposed to be one of these it's one of these little AC powered air conditioners and we're gonna do a variety of tests first we're just gonna do an unboxing and we're gonna go ahead and take a look and see how much power this actually consumes this is gonna be a good one for my van lifers and overlanders that have small spaces that they need to cool um, I can't say that I'm I have high hopes for this but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna take some temperature readings before we start and during and then after and see if it made a difference. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Manual, AC cord, sure this is going to be a pretty basic unboxing. And the air conditioner. It's pretty small. Let's see if I can get this thing open. Be smarter than the bag. <laughs> All right. So pretty standard AC power cord. All right, and this thing is completely taped up for transportation. Out of tape. I can tell you that it's very light. It's just made of plastic, no metal anywhere. Whoops. <laughs> Covered. I thought it was hinged, but it's not, so it just comes off. And then you have your reservoir for the water. There's one more label here. It just tells you where to fill it to. There's a fan on the back. On the back it says DC 5 volt, 15-2 amp. No, I'm sorry, 1.5-2 amps. So. At least at DC, this has got a very tiny draw, which if the math works out, five volts of DC is not gonna amount to much with AC power. But we'll do a watt consumption test anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and do this test in my Suburban. It's gonna be the closest approximation that we can get to a van or in, in many cases, it's just an overlander vehicle. So it's going to be a small confined space, just like any other overlander vehicle or van. And the cubic airspace that's going to have to cool is going to be about the same. So it should give us a pretty good idea of what's going to happen in a van or anything like that. And my Suburban, uh, it doesn't have any sort of insulation um, that you might do to a van or anything like that. Most people who are full-time in it in vans have done at least some sort of insulation work to, to keep the temperature regulated. Mine doesn't, so we'll see how it does. Okay, here we are in the Suburban. It's 88 degrees, it's warm, it's uncomfortable. I'm gonna use this little PowerMade 400 watt inverter. This is a little junky inverter, I've had this thing for 20 years, I have no idea. It's a long time. I'm just gonna plug it in on the cigarette lighter adapter over here. I'm gonna start sweating soon. Okay, inverter's on. As you can see, we have some nice little lights here. On top, you have a fan button that controls the speed and it's gonna default to high speed. You press the button, it's going to change the speed and turn it on and off. And then this button changes the lights. Okay, I like purple. Okay. So in the manual it says, you want to pour the water directly on the top carefully. Fill it up to the line on the side. 
it says to get the best results that you want to use ice put ice in it and then fill it up but I'm not going to do that there because realistically if anybody in van life is going to use one of these they're not going to have ice most aren't going to have ice so we're going to just try it with a cold bottle of water I'm going to turn it off to fill it So it's filled up to the line, so now I'm going to let it run for about an hour and I'm going to come back and check on it. I'll probably do some checks every 30 minutes to see how it goes, uh, and then I'll let it run until it runs out of water. Turn my purple light back on, I like the purple light. Okay, it's running. Right now, the watt meter says it's pulling 7.63 continuous watts. I'm going to leave this camera watching this to see what it does. 7.6 watts is going to be less than, it's going to be about a half an amp DC. This is 7.6 watts AC. If you take 7.65 or 7.69 watts, whatever it happens to be sitting at at the time, just divide that number by 12 volts, that'll give you your amp for DC. I don't have a calculator right now and I do math in my head. Just I'm, I'm dreadful at math in my head, so I'm not gonna worry about it. But maybe if I can, but I'll go ahead and put it down here at the bottom of the screen and you can take a look. So let's let it run and we'll come back and see how it does. I'm gonna take a little temperature reading. Right now it's 87 degrees in here. Let's see how cold the air is coming out. 82 degrees, it doesn't bode well. Let's let it work and see if those numbers improve. So I'm using my Southwire multimeter here that has a temperature probe and I'm gonna go ahead and get a temperature of the inside of the Suburban. It's a cooler day but it's still 87 degrees in here so far and we're just gonna let this sit for a bit and see where it ends up. All right guys here's the reveal let's see what's going on. You're seeing it live with me. Still pulling the same amps. The air conditioner's been running for about a half an hour. Temperature hasn't changed. It's just warm air coming out. It's not really doing anything. Basically, it's just blowing air. It's like a fan. We're gonna give it another half an hour and see if the temperature comes down at all, but it's really not. You can see it's pulling 7.4 amps. I set up the temperature probe in a neutral area to try to give this the best chance of giving a, a good reading without having any windows play into effect or anything that might affect the temperature other than just the ambient temperature inside the Suburban. Not looking good so far, guys. We'll give it a little more time. Well, there you go, 85 degrees. Sorry, Arctic Air, you failed. You're just a fancy fan. Like I said, I didn't have real high hopes on this, but I figured I would do my due diligence. A lot of people ask about this online. So, now we have our answer. Don't waste your money on this. I only bought it because I wanted to test it out and I thought it would make a fun video. I have no idea what I'll do with this now. I guess it can kind of make a nice nightlight or a noise machine. But <laughs> most of that noise that you're hearing is actually coming from the inverter. So this thing is quiet. So maybe it's just a nice nightlight. I mean, you can change colors and do all kinds of nice things there, so. So I have a feeling that's how I'll use it, a nightlight. Or I'll give it away. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it informative. I hope you gave you some answers on this Arctic Air air conditioner. Uh, I know it gave me some answers, and I have a feeling that you're going to come to the same conclusion if you try to get one of these for yourself. 
I wouldn't, kind of a waste of money. So like, subscribe, and share, and uh, help us grow this channel. It's brand new, and I'm going to do more videos like this, and I need your help to grow. I'll talk to you soon, and I'll see you out there off-gridding it.